This morning on Auto Show TV, we take a look at an SUV that's perfect for large families on the go. It's one of the mid-size SUV class leaders, so let's find out why. Auto Intelligence presents the 2014 Dodge Durango. The Dodge Durango is similar in some ways to its cousin, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but there are notable differences. So let's get the full walk around here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, Auto Show TV's Dodge experts. Dennis. I love the Grand Cherokee. Is it possible for me to love the Durango too? It is, and you're going to love the new Durango. Since 2011, there's been some uh, major improvements in both the engine, transmission, and styling. You know that this is a Dodge Durango when it's coming down the street, and it doesn't blend in with all the other mid-size to large SUVs out there. And the Dodge Durango gets mid to high 20s for gas mileage. It achieves that uh, great gas mileage by pairing the 8-speed automatic transmission with the new Pentastar V6 motor. The Dodge Durango is loaded with safety features and a lot of the uh, top-of-the-line safety features that you'd find in high-end luxury cars such as forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control. Making our way to the side of the vehicle, this vehicle also has lane departure warning where it will sense if you're drifting out of your lane. And there are a lot of other safety features as well that are hidden in the vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with side impact beams. There's uh, steel beams inside the doors to help protect from side intrusions. There are front and rear crumple zones in the vehicle. There's actually breakaway motor mounts on the engine where in a frontal crash, the engine mounts will break away and that way none of the components will come up through the floorboards, possibly injuring any of the occupants inside. The hood has pressure points on it that'll actually bend rather than stay straight and come to the windshield, possibly injuring inside occupants. Now the Durango comes in either a six passenger or seven passenger. With the seven passenger, the middle seat will be a bench seat, and with the six passenger, it'll be bucket seats. Now with the bucket seats, you can simply walk through the middle, or with both the buckets and the bench, they both tip and fold. Pull and pull, and that gives you full access to the back of the vehicle. Now the Durango is equipped with keyless enter and go, which means this key fob never has to leave your pocket or pocketbook. It'll actually sense that the key fob is within a certain proximity of the vehicle. But before we do that, I just want to hit the unlock button and show you one of the unique styling cues on the Durango. It's the LED rear track light system, uh, which a lot of people go crazy over. So let's open up the rear lift gate, press the button on the key fob twice, a warning chime will sound letting you know that the vehicle is opening. It also does that when it's closing. Now in the back of the vehicle you have plenty of storage space. By simply pulling this lever you can fold these seats down. It's a 50-50 split folding seat. You can fold down one side or both depending on how much cargo space you need. So again let's close this up. Quick push of the button on the inside here. Again, it'll beep three times to let you know it's closing, and it will close. It'll now, it also has, right. You'll notice if it that's hits right. my arm, great. It has one of the most sensitive optical detection systems in its class. As soon as it senses an object in the way, it'll retract uh, into the open position. Let's go ahead and power this uh, Durango up. Now, this vehicle has a built-in vehicle information center in the center of the cluster there and that is controlled by these arrows up, down, left and right. This will tell you how much gas you can travel uh, with what you have left in the tank. This will tell you time elapsed odometer. This is where you also turn on your adaptive cruise control and the three settings for that are also located in the vehicle information center. On the right hand side is your standard cruise control settings as well as your distance settings where you actually set them into place and it is as easy as set it and forget it. If a vehicle again moves in front of you it'll slow you down once that vehicle moves into the opposite lane it'll speed you back up and keep you cruising at the preset speed. Uh, moving our way down to the radio. This radio is more, uh, is more of a computer than a radio. It has a 40 gigabyte hard drive built in and you can do a ton of cool features. The satellite radio, which is free for one year, um, you can actually pause, play, rewind, and fast forward live music. Some of the other cool features here, the con uh, controls as far as your heated seat controls, ventilated seat controls, heated steering wheel are all located uh, here at the touch of a button. 
Below that is your auxiliary output, your USB output, and your SD card uh, holder. This has an electronic shifter here, which uh, kind of gives you a, a seamless center console. Everything's nice and streamlined, um, and it just gives you more room in the center here. Now let's just talk a minute about the four-wheel drive system. The Durango comes with a full-time four-wheel drive system, which requires no driver input. It senses wheel slippage. It senses uh, the intended path of the driver and the actual path of the vehicle and I'll actually apply brake pressure to the inside and outside of the wheels to help compensate and, and maintain control. So what'd you think? I'm impressed, I loved it. There's a lot to love. Four wheel drive, seven passenger, plenty of room, and great fuel economy for this size vehicle. Again, mid to high 20s on the highway. So I'd like to personally invite all of my customers come to come down to Elmwood Auto Group for the big finish sales event. Get a great deal.